Greetings, everyone. In her current role, she's responsible for devising strategies that define the directions for functioning of Continental Software Academy globally. Prior to joining Continental, she was the Associate Director of Technology Learning at Flipkart. She holds a master's degree in computer science and engineering and has over 12 industry approved certifications to her credit in areas of technology, project management and learning. She has authored six technology books with international publishing houses such as Springer and PACPA. She's also a public speaker and has several Forbes blog articles to her credit. Prior to Flipkart, she was uh, working in organizations like IBM and Dell EMC. A professional with close to 17 years of experience, our guest today is Ms. Anupama Raman, Global Head Software Academy at Continental Automotive. Anupama, welcome to Women in Mobility. It's a pleasure to have you with us today. Good morning, Dipanshu, and thank you very much for giving me an opportunity uh, to be part of this discussion process. I'll be glad to share my experiences and some of my leadership stints, uh, what would be helpful for the rest of the community globally. Wonderful, Anupama. So let's start by uh, understanding, you know, I mean, we look at software that is transforming the way the mobility industry functions today. How do you assess the evolution of software in the automotive sector? Yeah, so um, this is a very interesting question because the automotive industry globally is undergoing a transformation, which is primarily driven by software. So uh, if you see in the past, we had about five to 10% of software and related components in a car. But moving forward, I would say we in a car, we already have about 40% uh, of software at the moment, which may further increase in the years to come. So just to precisely put it across, car can be perceived as a computer on wheels. So uh, what I mean to say here is software is becoming more and more dominant mm -hmm. and other components like uh, mechanical and electrical components are taking a backseat mm -hmm. when you talk about a car. Mm -hmm. So uh, fueled by this need, all the organizations in the automotive sector are equally motivated to mm. strengthen their software skills, competencies, and also observe closely what are the recent technological trends in the areas of software which can be adopted by them. Right. So with this objective in mm. mind, uh, Continental has set up a Software Center of Excellence or mm -hmm. Software Academy. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we do in Software Academy is, uh, as I spoke about the software revolution, which is happening in the automotive, mm -hmm. Software Academy is preparing the colleagues globally uh, to be ready to face this revolution sure. in terms of upskilling. Mm -hmm. And we are also making um, opportunities available for other area, other types of engineers. Say, mm -hmm. for example, a mechanical engineer or an electrical engineer, if they are interested uh, to upskill themselves and take up software related job roles. Okay. So these are all some of the important charters which are associated okay. with the Software Center of Excellence or Software Academy, which okay. I am globally steering here from Technical Center India. Wonderful, wonderful. Anupama, I mean, what are your views on the current mobility ecosystem? Yeah, current mobility ecosystem, as I mentioned, there is a lot of transformation. Uh, before, we used to talk about the count of ECUs in a car mm. and how they are interconnected, how they communicate, and all of that. So everything was revolving around ECUs. But now, uh, ECUs are slowly getting replaced with, um, I would say, HPC systems. Mm -hmm. HPC means high performance computing systems yeah. uh, because of the rapidly changing demands of mm -hmm. the customers, which is steering the OEMs, mm -hmm. which in turn is steering the suppliers. Mm -hmm. So the change in trend is something like uh, the manufacturers are looking more at suppliers who do, I would say, uh, parts which mm -hmm. support autonomous driving, components yeah. which support uh, other related features like advanced HMI, human mm -hmm. machine interfaces, then 5G related uh, networking and other related technologies, which really offer the next level of uh, experience 
to the passengers in the car and the yeah. demand from the customers or the users of the car is also exponentially increasing mm. they demand a complete office equivalent setup in the car with even video conferencing and so many other related facilities so yeah. they are expecting it to be uh, something like an office on wheels so right. this is also putting a lot of pressure on the manufacturers oems mm. as well as on the suppliers uh, to scale up and also diversify into new technology areas so that they are able to meet the needs and the demands of the end customers right what are the opportunities that you see for women in this ecosystem anubhava for sure um, i would say let me uh, talk a bit about the history dipankshu mm -hmm. uh, basically in the history uh, all the jobs in manufacturing automotive sector has been typically stereotyped as not for women mm. okay but now i would say the change has started and many organizations in the automotive sector are taking lot of steps to support this transformation journey and enable more and more women employees to reach all levels uh, be it a senior leadership middle management or even uh, entry level career and right. one of the most important aspects here is the stem skills mm -hmm. and i'm sure you agree to that right yeah so uh, basically as per some recent reports by unesco uh, or i would say i think the report was titled cracking the code girls and women's education in stem okay. only 35% of the stem students uh, in higher education globally are women mm -hmm. and stem still remains a male dominated field so i would say uh, we should start it start the transformation from the grassroots level that is from the schooling level mm -hmm. uh, you, there has been some bias which has already been set in the minds of the people which needs to be uprooted and removed mm -hmm. and they should start from the very foundational level so uh, talk to the students in the schools and uh, keep them or start motivating them about how exciting the automotive industry is mm. what are the interesting challenges in the mobility sector which they yeah. can explore and things like that and which should again continue into the college or university level where there are enough opportunities mm. in the automotive space in terms of automotive specializations which are available globally right. uh, which the women colleagues or the students should be motivated to pursue an enroll right. and from the organization's perspective many organizations say for example continental we have a target mm -hmm. to have 25% of women in right. senior management by 2025 right okay so uh, just to give a glimpse about what we are trying to do to achieve the target we have several niche programs which are targeted at women employees mm -hmm. say for example we have a program which is called as we lead mm -hmm. which focuses on grooming women in the auto, in continental globally mm -hmm. uh, to reach i would say leadership positions and we also have women at work which is mm -hmm. another program where uh, women employees have the opportunities um to inter interconnect and also work with so many other women leaders in continental globally and that way they can groom themselves and make themselves to be ready for senior leadership positions right right so i would say i see a lot of changes in the mobility sector mm. focusing and it's all a positive change as i would say because it's all very woman friendly policies hmm. and they are all trying to motivate women employees uh, to join first and also get groomed further and when you talk about mobility sector i am not just relating or i am not just talking about the r and d sector Sorry. alone i am even talking about plants because automotive r and d alone is a separate part and you have the plants part of it also which hmm. is very important in the automotive sector right. and i'm sure you'll agree to it dipanshu yes okay yes. Uh, so basically when it comes to uh, plants also in continental india if we take an example our plant in 
Manesar has an entire division which is op operated by women employees. That's right. So yeah. we are trying to set trends of how yeah. women employees can be successful and can be, I would say, trendsetters in the automotive industry. Wonderful. And, uh, yeah. 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 So here I would like to urge all the women employees who are watching this video that mm -hmm. if they have any mindset that automotive is not for me and they should come out of it and they should pursue their dreams personally uh, anupama i mean you you've uh, you know moved from it to e-commerce to mobility now right talk to talk to us about your leadership approach yeah basically i think that's a very good question uh, because um, as i I have worked in several domains, even within IT. Uh, I moved from, I would say, a storage domain, which was right. Dell EMC, uh, onto IBM, primarily focusing on the Smarter Cities product suite. Mm -hmm. Here, I was in a customer and partner facing role. Mm -hmm. And from there, I moved on to Flipkart, which was uh, more in the e-commerce space mm -hmm. and now currently in automotive. Mm -hmm. So I see that as I am moving across the sectors, there is a lot of change which I need to get into my ways of working, into my mindset, mm. and even into the way I think and tackle problems and challenges. Mm -hmm. That's basically because of the inherent nature of each industry, the demands of the customers, and also the type of work which mm. is done by each industry. Right. So this is one very good observation, or I would say a very good tip, which mm. I would like to offer. When sure. you join any industry, uh, do your groundwork about what that industry is all about. What are the job role expectations and what are the expectations about the industry mm. and be ready to, to be doing a change management to yourself. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, what are the areas that you think leaders should focus on considering the transformation we see in the mobility sector, not just for uh, you know, your immediate teams, but for generations that are going to come up in the future? Yeah, so uh, basically I would say uh, change management, agile practices, because mm -hmm. uh, if I talk exclusively about the mobility industry, considering the radical transformations which are happening in the mobility industry. Uh, one of the main focus areas should be change management, sure. how to adapt to changes. Mm -hmm. And once you talk about change management, one of the most important things here is adoption of agile practices. Sure. Okay, because why do you need agile practices? Because the customer uh, landscape is changing the expectations of the customers are changing right. and before manufacturing generally is a very old industry mm -hmm. but now uh, the old practices are radically getting replaced with the new agile practices agile ways of working mm -hmm. so we need to scale up and be ready for the change be ready to embrace the change and also whatever it takes to implement the change one of the most important aspect there is uh, being agile. Right. So um, I don't mean exactly agile ways of working. That is anyways there, or I would say that's the need of the day, mm -hmm. but also agility in thinking, agility in mindset, agility in the cultural aspect, everything, mm -hmm. so that we can really be quick enough mm -hmm. to embrace the changes and be successful and emerge as a winner in the mobility space. Right. Anupa, a little earlier, you mentioned about uh, women's representation in, in, in STEM, right? But when we look at the mobility sector, the automotive sector, uh, this is no different, right? So how do you really bring more women into the automotive workforce? Uh, yeah, so basically, as I mentioned, uh, to bring women into the automotive workforce, uh, there are a lot of steps taken mm -hmm. by the automotive organizations. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of them, as I spoke about what we are doing at Continental here right. is uh, like, I would say, take a percentage of, um, I would say, senior leadership positions, but that 
only takes care of senior leadership positions. Yeah. I would say at each level mm. of the organization, earmark certain positions only for women candidates. Right. And I would say uh, just to remove the stereotype that the automotive is not for women, take the women employees or publish the success stories of women who are doing very well in automotive space mm. or in the automotive related job roles and give that confidence to the women that it's no longer a male dominated space. Mm. It's very, very open. There are a lot of transformations and even the organizations are ready and are prepared to welcome more and more women into the workspace. So sure. this confidence should be given to them. Right. And uh, we at Continental also have a program called Women in Manufacturing, mm -hmm. uh, where we take um, female candidates at the college level, train them on various aspects of manufacturing, mm -hmm. and also place them in one of our facilities in India. Sure. So finally, Anupama, you know, what's going to be your message for young girls, young women who are looking at getting into this sector? Yeah. So my message for young women is be very open and always challenge your own thoughts and challenge the stereotypes which are posed by the society hmm. because and always chase your dreams. If your dream is to be in the mobility sector or in some other sector, which may be perceived as a male dominated one, never be uh, stopped by any of those stereotypes or by anyone else who thinks or who influences you to do the same. Always chase your dreams, follow your dreams and always be very positive. And I also want to tell you that perseverance is what really helps you achieve your goals. And that's one of the secret of my success as well. Because in my journey as a woman leader, uh, in order to really establish myself in the industry, I had to do quite a lot of things, writing a book and that too with international publishing houses mm -hmm. like uh, Springer, Verlang and Taylor and Francis, Packet Pub was not a small task. And that too, along with my job. So what I typically used to do was I used to take the weekends, I used to cut short um, my, um, I would say, personal time on the weekends and take that time available to focus on my passion. Right. And that passion in turn helped me establish myself or my credentials in the industry. So I would say the journey is not easy, mm -hmm. requires a lot of effort. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but it requires a perseverance and a very strong mindset. And one thing which can always help the women employees is look for mentors in the industry, both within your organization, as well as outside the organization. And when I talk about mentoring, another important concept, which I would say is very effective is also reverse mentoring, mm -hmm. uh, getting mentored by the juniors, because uh, when you look at the future generations or the present millennials, they have a totally different approach Absolutely. and they come with a fresh set of ideas. That's true. That's true. That's so, true. yeah. So we should be open to explore these ideas and we should not be closed. We should not say that, okay, uh, I am the, my idea is the best because I'm so experienced. No, you should be very willing and open to hear, seek feedback, continuously improve yourself and also accept ideas and other opportunities for improvement from your mentors and also from your junior subordinates. Wonderful. Anupama, on that note, thank you so much for speaking to Mobility Outlook today and being part of Women in Mobility. I truly appreciate you taking time. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I would like to take a opportunity to give a big thank you to Mobility Outlook for giving me this opportunity uh, to talk on behalf of Continental and inspire women colleagues and also break the stereotype that mobility sector is only for men. So I'm thanks. I'm thankful to you too. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you.